Hi guys, good morning. Welcome back to the next video. So basically, in this video, we'll see the problem spiral matrix. Before you start on this, although it's a very easy problem, very standard problem, but 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 back when I was in college, when I was young, uh, young. Oh, am I not young right now? Who knows? So back when I was in college, uh, when in practicals, in actual exams it was asked because it's a very common problem to be asked in first and second year when it is asked it was very hard for me to actually imagine and implement it and if even i implemented then i would forget that how i used to do it today i will just show you a standard technique that how to just implement these kind of problems cool let's start this video but yeah before further ado that many of you have asked before that how i used to write how i just write on uh the screen and you just see what i write so i just use these tablets earlier i used to use a xp pen pen tablet which you used to see in the starting videos of last year and so then we upgraded on this samsung tablet the links will be down below for everything i use from monitor camera lights mic pen pen tablet everything cool let's start with the video itself uh, the problem says that it's a very standard problem that you are given m cross n matrix return all the elements of the matrix in a spiral order what's a spiral order spiral order is nothing but some order like this it's a spiral order for a matrix the spiral order will be like this it just sorry it just goes on inside 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 and so on like this it's a spiral order of the matrix cool for this problem example the spiral order for this matrix will be 1 then it go to 2 then 3 then 6 then 9 then 8 then 7 then 4 then 5 we have to print this in a linear vector or array as this 1 2 3 6 9 8 7 4 5 like this we have to print right cool now before going on if you just clearly look at what gonna happen if we just break this spiral matrix down to multiple steps right in the first step in the first step what will happen is it will just go from this left to right then top to bottom then again right to left then from bottom to top up till the point here only because it was already included now it is one cycle you will see it is completed right in the next iteration it should actually move on from this next point because it was all already included right so next point then it just goes on to the right not exceeding the blue portion like not moving on to the blue, blue portion moving it before it blue nice then moving down up till the point where it had been before that then moving left then moving top again back you see what's happening let's see one more then we start from the orange itself go right then down then left and then top you see everything is same blue green uh, orange it's just that it's getting smaller and smaller how what's actually happening in this is that i was starting from left to right on the topmost row then just at the next step because already the the point right here was included so from the next step up till the last second row i just went because i know when i'm gonna go from right to left in the last row because i'm just replicating the stuff as i went on to the entire row in the from left to right this i will just go to the entire row i can also actually modify this but it's good to have a uniform pattern right that's the reason i just went on from right to left here then again i just went on above like just above this this i just started and then went on to up till the point where i left right this point only thus it is just four operations and every operations need every op of these four operation needs to be performed for every of this loop which means one for blue one for green one for orange one for white and for every of this blue let's say for this blue i will perform all these four operations as simple as that we just broke down our bigger problem to all these smaller problems and for this smaller problem also i just broke down into many other small problems that is how we solve these other problems now 
it, it looks good it looks good when they're actually imagining by the human mind but as soon as we go on to programming it becomes complex because it's very hard oh which column has come which row has come so to actually unify it make it simplify i always use this standard method how just see okay you want to move your row wise column wise row wise column wise right that's the reason just mark okay I will start from this left to right. It is nothing but I will just go on to the columns. I will go from up to down. I will just go on in the row. It is these four pointers or variables I just took. Okay. Up, left, right, up, down. It just actually represents. Up to down will show, will show me that I am going up to down in row. Down to up will show me I am going down to up in row left right will show me i am going left to right in column right left will show me that i am going right to left in columns how it will be helpful it is helpful like this that as i am starting as you saw in the initial one that for every of this um, this thing i will just go on right so for this thing now i just know okay it is up it is sorry it is left it is right it is up it is down it is up, it is down. Thus, I will just use the same thing to actually break it into four problems. How? Let's see. So basically, I just knew initially, I have to go from left to right. Left to right. On which row? On this upper row. Thus, I will just go on from left to right in this upper row. That is the one thing I will perform. How? Let's see. You will see. I will just go on from left to right. Mark my words. From... I will just choose another color from left to right in this upper row. Left to right in this upper row. That is, I did for when I moved on on the top row, on the upper row from left to right. Now, the next thing I will, I will perform is I will move on from upper plus one because you will see up is here. I just moved on, on up, up, up. So, I will just move on to upper plus one up till the down minus one on this right row on the side column i will move on from up plus one to down minus one on this right column exactly same how we write in code also i will go on from up plus one to down minus one on this right column that is for when i move down cool no worries now afterwards i will move on from right to left from right to left i will move on from right to left on this down row i will move on from right to left on this down row so you are seeing how these variables which i made earlier are actually being helpful to me i'm just using these to actually replicate okay how will i move from right to left on this on which row on this row how i will move from up to down on which column on this column that is i will move on you saw i will move on from right to left on this down row cool let's see I will move on from right to left on what? On this down row. That is exactly how we are moving from right to left. Then finally, we have to move on from, from down plus one, down minus, sorry, down minus one up till up plus one on this, which column? On this left column. Down minus one to up plus, up plus one on this left column. Exactly same what we will write from down minus one to up plus one on this left column that is how for every of this particular cycle which means one this particular thing i am just using these four smaller operations and then Arin, you showed that, okay it is for one cycle right which means one part of that spiral which was this part which was this blue part you showed this blue part you showed. What about are in the green part? The next part which is coming up is the green part. So how about you will uh, handle with this? Basically, I will just know. Okay. Now earlier, my left, right, my left, left, right, up, down was handling this outer part. Now, if I want to handle the inner part, so I want to handle this now, right? So just increment my up to come here decrement my right to here increment sorry increment my left to here decrement my right to here increment my up to here and decrement my down to here as simple as that what we will do i will just increment my left 
decremented my right, incremented my up, decremented my down, so that I can actually start on this next smaller spiral. And thus ultimately at each loop. And for this smaller spiral, I again have these four loops, which will actually go on from left to right, top to bottom, uh, right to left, and then bottom to top. That is how I will just perform. You will see I, in the outer for loop, I have just another while loop which will actually go on, go on, go on for every of those outer loops. Why? Because it will just say, okay, until your, until you have actually obtained all your spirals, which means all your elements, you will just have to go on. Which means until your spiral is complete, it, it just, oh, sorry. It just standardly means that until until my whole spiral is complete, which means until it went to the last element, it will just keep on, keep on, keep on going. As you will see, it will just increment the left, decrement the right, increment the up, decrement the down. And for every of these loops, I will just go on. That is how we will do this problem. And initially in this problem itself, although it is mentioned, although it is mentioned that your N and M is both, both less than equal, like more than equal to one but still in an interview or in your actual college exams it will not be given so you have to mark the condition that your your matrix is not null if it is actually having a column so column should not be null so that you have to just take this base conditions that it should not be empty and if column is there so, so, so column should also not be empty else just initialize these up down left right as i showed you about in the picture also and then just go on to this loop to actually go on to every of those four lines ultimately return your result it's actual linear array time conversion is nothing but o of n into m because you're actually moving on to the entire array space is nothing but o of one extra space i'm saying actually you're using a space to actually store that result because it's actually a linear array of size m cross n itself but apart from that no other extra space is being used so it's o of one code of c++ java and python is down below in the pdf i hope that you guys liked it and yeah if you guys want to ch check out any of my gadgets things which i use in past also which i have used and right now which i am using you can just go and check the links down below. That will be it. Same thing, but take care.